What it do guys, Monjamin here and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Amazon Fire TV with 4K and Alexa voice remote. Taking a look at the box, you can see the device itself, we'll go over the design a little later, and we see the remote and you can kind of see that it's kind of pops out a bit. And it's kind of cool because you can kind of feel buttons and it's just kind of a neat thing that they do and they really don't have to do it. You see mostly orange and you also see right here. 4K Ultra HD and HDR. And we're just going to go ahead and go over the checkerboard here. Crackle. Yeah, all right. Direct TV Now, Spotify, PlayStation View, HBO, Showtime, Food Network, Amazon Video, which isn't even front and center, Sling, CBS All Access, NBC, Netflix, which is front and center, which it really should be, Watch ESPN, and Hulu. Then we have PBS, Stars, Fox Sports Go, and Amazon Music, which I feel is kind of funny because right here, kind of opposite of Spotify here. Kind of cool. What else do we have here? What's included? The Amazon Fire TV 3rd Generation Alexa Voice Remote, 2 AAA batteries, presumably for the remote, power adapter and USB cable for the unit itself. What is needed? High-speed internet with Wi-Fi, HDTV, with HDMI input and an ultra HDTV to view 4K content, which is fair enough, HDMI. It has Alexa. It is compatible with 4K, Ultra HD, HDR high dynamic range, Dolby Audio. It is a quad core unit and uses 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. Fire TV. On the back. Instant voice search with Alexa voice remote. Use your voice remote to easily find, launch, and control content. Say, find suspense thrillers or launch Netflix, and Alexa will respond. Plus, play music, find movie, showtimes, order a pizza, and more. Just ask. True to life picture quality and sound with access to vivid 4K Ultra HD up to 60 frames per second. The brilliant color of HDR and the audio quality of Dolby Atmos. Your movies and shows have never been more immersive. 17,000 channels, apps, and Alexa skills. Get over 500,000 movies and TV episodes from Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, HBO, Showtime, Amazon Video, NBC, and more. Fire TV is always getting smarter with new Alexa skills. Simple, fast, and fluid. Simply plug into an HGTV and start streaming within minutes with an ultra-fast processor and 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, you can rely on smooth and responsive performance. We have a couple of examples here, which you know a lot of people will be using. Play Game of Thrones, find comedies, and fast forward a minute, which is actually a pretty cool one. So let's just go ahead and unbox this. Let me take that out. What is included in the box, I wonder? And that is everything in there. So all of our contents are right here. So, okay. So we have quite a bit. So we pull out the unit itself, which is really, really small. I don't even know how to put this into context, but it is pretty small. Have some batteries. Which are not even, they're just kind of housed in there. They're, but of course they are Amazon. Batteries are batteries. And we have some starting guides. Have the remote itself, which is right here. Of course, it's taller than the unit. Let me get out the AC adapter, which is kind of the normal that we get here. Where's all the specs for this thing? Oh, it would be on the bottom. 9 watt, 100 to 240 volts. And the USB cable, which isn't even held together with a tie. It just kind of stuck in there. Let's take the plastic off some of these things, such as the remote also looks like it has some instructions to put batteries in so let's go ahead and do that you push up to take off this bit it's a big cover too looks like you try to idiot proof this by making both batteries go in the same way and you would just kind of go backwards so you could up a little bit and you should be able to press down. Yeah, there we go. See how that's flush? And you push it in, here's a little click. That's all you need. 
take that off. That was just covering the oop, static. Kind of a glossy finish. I don't love that because it's going to get really scratched. But it's pretty cool. And you see the voice activation bit. And it's what you talk into. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's not really very heavy, but it's got a little bit to it. I have the AC adapter, which we're going to want to take off any kind of plastic because that could heat up. I don't want that. That by itself is pretty normal. A little chunky, but pretty normal for what it is. The unit itself, which I want to just take out of this plastic bit. And yeah, that's it. Oh, there's a little more. There's a lot. It's got a glassy finish on top, which I really don't like because that, of course, is going to get <laughs> really scratched. And is this magnetic at all? No, it's not. Unlike the Chromecast where, yes, magnetic, just, you know, easy storage. And mine isn't even that bad, but you can see tiny scratches, which is why I don't like a glossy finish. And for size comparison, it is still technically bigger than the Chromecast, but it does, it is a little jarring about how small it is, comparing sizes of these. Unit to HDMI, Google's actually a little longer. And they had the decency of having a tie, so when it's behind on the TV, it doesn't take up that much room. I kind of really wish they had done that, because that would have been really useful. Seeing any ports they have on here. No, no, power. And that is going to be your cable. It plugs in right there and goes out to your wall, which is how they want you to do it. I wonder if you can do it just straight up in the same vein as the Chromecast and just hook it up to your TV if it has a USB. I wonder. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of this stuff. Fire TV. What's in the box? And we've kind of already gone through this. It wants you to connect to your TV. Check that out. Specifically, it says to plug it into a nearby outlet, so I don't think you'll be able to plug it into your TV for greater ease. Power up your Alexa remote. Complete the on-screen setup, which we'll do in a second. And we can register it online. Get the most out of it by learning all the commands. Then some troubleshooting. Remote pairing. And not too much else. Model number information. Pretty interesting. And the welcome to Amazon Fire TV with 4K and Alexa voice remote. Even better with Echo. Showing some pictures of Twin Peaks featuring on Showtime. Pair any Fire and Echo device and use your voice to control your Fire TV with Alexa. Just ask Alexa to play or search movies and TV episodes and control playback from over 140 apps and channels. Just ask. Alexa, watch Twin Peaks on Fire TV. Alexa, pause. Alexa, find action movies. Play. Okay, mine's already listening to it. Something's always on. With access to over 500,000 movies and TV episodes, you can watch many of your favorites in brilliant HD, Ultra HD, or HDR from Prime Video, Hulu, Netflix, HBO Now, Showtime, Stars, and more. Play Despicable Me. Find romantic comedies. Watch Suits. Best of Live TV. Enjoy live TV and sports on Sling TV, Direct TV Now, CBS All Access, and more. Plus, you can access the best of live TV directly from PBS, NBC, ESPN, and Fox Sports Go. More with Prime. Prime members get even more on Fire TV with Prime. Stream thousands of TV episodes and movies with Prime Video. Add subscriptions from over 100 premium and specialty channels like HBO and Showtime. Play millions of songs of Prime Music. And as always, free two-day shipping. On the back, we see Entertain Your Way, millions of songs, live radio stations, podcasts, and more ready to stream through Prime Music, Spotify, Vivo, and iHeartRadio. Play popular rock from the 90s. Play Pentatonix. Play My Dinner Party Playlist. Go beyond streaming with Alexa. Use the Alexa voice remote to ask Alexa for the weather information, news, set timers and alarms, and more. Alexa can also control devices such as TVs, lights, thermostats, locks, sprinklers, and more. Dim the living room lights. Set thermostat to 68 degrees. Turn on the fan. Then you can join the conversation here. Pretty interesting stuff. 
Well guys, this has been my unboxing of the Amazon Fire TV with 4K and Alexa voice remote. If you like this sort of video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to stay up to date on my videos and live streams on both YouTube and Twitch, check out the links in the description below, join my Discord, and consider donating. That's all for now. Mandrame, out.